Hey there everyone, this is Raokao playing Jout. Last time we beat the final level of the first pose game, <laughs> Shattered Dream. However, we've got a lot of cleanup to do. I basically streamlined, you know, basically making my way through a path. But obviously, this being a let us play, uh, we gotta do all the other rooms and do all the things that are there, cause otherwise, it's just wrong. And I'm gonna start by going in the ballroom by Marcel Marceau here, which is uh, a level that I have tried. This is a level that was attempted, but abandoned once I've encountered uh, the Cylinder Room from World Peace over on the other side of the room. And this room is really interesting. It's like, yo, custom ghosts! They're scary because you can't really protect what's gonna happen. Not just because they're ghosts. I guess here, you gotta wait a little bit, yo! So yeah. Oh man, the Shattered Dream OST, well, the one song, is really good. Like, it is a good final level. Yo, stuff is serious. Let's, you know, become a bull riding team. Uh, as as it really evokes that concept, except maybe without the bull riding team part. But I mean, in that case, what are you doing? And uh, yeah, so uh, unlike I know that I managed to clean up Bowser's castle in one video, it's probably not gonna happen <laughs> for Shattered Dreams. One thing, the uh, difficulty is significantly higher, and I think there is also more stuff to cover, so... Both together means a lot of joys and a lot of friends, and also commercials waiting to happen. I don't know why though, I mean, you can just turn on the TV and you'll see commercials for sure. Alright. Yay. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure how that was gonna pan out. Man, those guys, they're fast. That may or may not be the purpose of why they were brought out. I forgot where I got to last time. But I don't think I've encountered this part before. So, uh... Yeah, this goes places, doesn't it? <laughs> it's also kind of on a long end of thing. I guess... You can just go down here if you've got the switch. If you don't, you can't, and then you will probably cry. The switch was by the same man who has designed this area. In case you forgot. Yo, perfect jump, immaculate. Let us join the gardening team and grow flowers. For the glory of the monarchy. Yo, monarchs! Not just the kind of butterfly anymore. Wow, well, that was all on purpose. Whoa, Jesus, hell, Christ! Wow! Yo, get out of here, my friend. As is true with most uh, older scrolling levels, once you know what's going on, it's a lot easier to time yourself with this revolving world around you. Although this part is still pretty shenanigan. Shenanigan? Yeah, here I wonder if I'd be better off. Oh, well, maybe not. Yeah, the timing there is. Oh! Man, I should have stayed there in the corner and I would have been safe. Uh, I overreacted to Well, that was very well played. See, positive reinforcement <laughs> is good. You can't lead the shots. Uh, there, I did not physically was touching a ghost. Well, I was safe for a moment, and then I wasn't. Yeah, do it this way. Except then a ghost appears right in your face. So do it that way. There I didn't, like, I'm not touching anything. <laughs> Starting to get some annoyance for the weirdness of a skeleton's inbox. Well, they're all bones, so they're kind of weird to touch 
in the first place. So this time it didn't work. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. No! I- Rao Cow, you know this! Oh no, 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 I, I knew that my jump angle was terrible, why did I try? What am I doing? Why do you keep doing weird things? Raukau, stop it! Play normally! Don't try to do shortcuts, like anyway, this level is auto-scrolling! You do not gain anything! Take your time... and do what you know works. There is no reason... To deviate. If your chosen method for a given area has proven to work. This is the truth of auto scrollers. If you can do a thing without getting hurt said thing will always work identically forever and ever Ugh. well unless like you've got actual RNG or something or like a generator but this is not in the case so why are you even mentioning that that was dumb on my end like why did I do that what did I think gonna happen. Thank you, Ledge, for existing. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if I would have time to- Oh! Okay. No, I sh- uh, man. Wow, I'm kind of surprised by that. Like, you don't even need to use the block, you can just jump there, you know? Not as cool, I guess. Can't really argue with that. Yeah, I. There, the timing is really bad. Uh, I do it this way because I know I can get my power back really easy. Really? How cow? Well then I don't know if it's entirely on me, but I mean of course it is, but I... What? How did I miss the mushroom? What? How? I touched it. Our sprites were overlapping a little bit, like not a whole lot, but... Man... Getting too used to dt 3 system of... Spr sprite equal hitbox, no matter what. Yeah, this is what I'm putting the blame on, apparently. So this is more doable than it looks like. Except for that skill- Oh, okay. He zaps in him, he vacuums him up. That's- how do you get down there, though? Like, you need to be predictive. But getting hit smartly. Here and you wait a one full like you need to get real close to the edge. That's what playing an auto scroll is all about. When a rush, when to back down. So here yeah, it's gonna get sucked in. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna take the whole thing. <laughs> This one, I don't know, man. It gives you a mushroom right afterwards. So I don't know if they were aware that it was real. Also, this is continuing, apparently. What? So what are the blocks here? What? You're kidding me. Okay, okay, it's not that bad. It's kind of... Okay, the blocks are infinite, but yeah, there's the fences, they're the... Ah! Wow, 
Yeah, this is like, this is not a room. This is a level, <laughs> including a boss. Oh my god. Okay, well, at least I got the mushroom. Ugh. Like, I'm not sure, honestly, how you get through there. I'm sure it's doable. Like, you can probably get the timing going where it makes sense. Right? Wasn't sure that was a hit. This is basically a survive the boo laser. More than anything. But then, you know, sometimes there's too many sprites so you can't pick up the block. That's kind of unfair, but I mean, this is just the reality we live in. Gotta remember that as unrecognizably too smooth as this is in points, it still is. Oh uh, man, why are you still there? Oh, this is nerve-wracking. Like, I'm pressing... I'm pressing the... I'm pressing the Y button and it gets the blocks, except like three times there. He didn't pick it up because of sprite nonsense. Like, that's just lame. That's just a lame way for things to go. No matter how you look at it. I wonder if I would have been able to sneak in all the way through... Like, if I at least could have gotten my extra shroom, but that's not gonna happen. And... Yet another fairly long... attempt lost. Like, that's the thing with Elder Scrolling 2. Uh, the length it's gonna take to go through is static. Whatever. So, yeah. Like, I wanted to at least finish the first the hub today, but that's not gonna happen. Because of this. Like, if the blocks actually worked a few times during the boss, I, w I would have had enough time, but at this point I don't, unfortunately. Oh well. This is impossible, though. I mean, I know it's not literally impossible, but I mean... Ugh, everyone putting, like, the weirdest, hardest thing at the end. Sprite clearly overlap though with the ghost of Sprite, so <laughs> I, I don't know. Free. <sighs> it just feels like when the ghost beam is fully formed, it has trouble grabbing the blonde. Which, I mean, you kind of need to expect the sprite limitations to... Oh, shoot. Wow, okay. To come into effect in this kind of... Well, wow! <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm just destroying myself. Nothing, nothing weird about that. Because, uh, I mean, I did, I did, I did the second door. But you gotta remember, I didn't do the secret door in the first tub, which is what I'm gonna be doing next time! <laughs> yeah, I wanted to do them both, but that took a while. That took a while. It's really good, but like, that, the thing is that it just feels more like... Like a level in and of itself. More than a room. Uh, it's a common trait in huge collab, uh, smack attacks like that, I'm aware, but anyway. 
This is Loud Cow playing Jump. Join me next time. I'm gonna play Jump. Shattered Dreams uh, continue anew.